What's going on guys, JoeFilmGRC.com, welcome. And today, man, you saw it in the thumbnail. Lots of goodies here on the table. Doing an RC drift build. Been wanting to do one for a while until I went to the actual drift spot, the uh, street breaks here in Clearwater, Florida. I was like, yeah, that thing's pretty awesome. I definitely want a rear wheel drive. But we'll get an unboxing of all the stuff here, but it won't be built in this video. Go ahead and go with showing you guys what's all here. This thing's pretty sick. All right, so we got a Hobbywing X, what is this, the X-Run? This is the XRT Pro. So I have this in my drag car and it works really well. So I figure we'll use that one along with a 13.5 brushless motor. So this is a combo. We do sell these on our website along with the Reef Servo, the Alacritus, if that's how you say it. Uh, it's a 300, so like a 200 ounce on like six volts. So pretty standard as far as plug it in. Should be lots of power, should be pretty quick. So uh, 3D printed, just a little seat. And also as far as some drift wheels, pretty generic. Uh, the Power Hobby batteries. These are 4200 milliamp 2S LiPo and they are on 120C discharge, pretty extreme. But we got two of them. So these are shorty packs. We got some magnet mounts. These are just something cheapo off of eBay. Uh, let's get to this kit here. I wanna definitely get this thing going. So let's get this thing out of the box. All right, let's break that seal. Look what we get. First time looking at it. Don't know what all this stuff is, but we're gonna figure it out. Got this radio man this thing's got all kinds of goodies on it the manual I'm hoping that there's some it's not all just English here because it's a lot of them from yeah that's all English so it's not like in different languages or anything like that. yeah so that's that that's gonna take a little bit of time to uh, figure out warranty information some little stickers that are here. I'm not 100% sure. You guys can leave a comment. I'll probably figure it out. Like, oh yeah, screen protector. Do that. All right. So yeah, you do get just the one receiver. I did see in some videos where they had two of them. It came with like a lipo and a charger or whatever. At least came with a battery. I don't know what happens here in the United States. We don't get that. All right. These just are covering up just your ports that you're not using on your electronic receiver. I almost said speed controller on that one. Apparently you get an extra wheel with it, which is a little bit larger. Some little tools in here, different trigger. Uh, this thing can be moved, the steering, you can switch it over to the other side, so like for left hand. I am left handed, but it doesn't make any sense. This actually feels proper because this would be how I would hold a gun. Bad dude right here. This is their top of the line, right? It's got a little carbon fiber. It actually has this so I think this is for like it you can push it up against yourself to start like a lap counter this thing's dope so let's go ahead and get that a little bit off there there's no batteries in it as of yet but it does take four double eight check it out let's see what it looks like all right so I dropped four double eight batteries in it now you can take this out you can take it out and then you can go with a, a life battery or such I think it's like 6.6 .6 volts something right around there. power it on on Ooh, nice little light wick and then it went off so could be that my batteries are a little bit dead or it goes into like a screensaver I think it means that the batteries are dead so gotta put different batteries in there but anyway you saw it go ahead so there you go 4200 you do get some Dean connections so I got a Nissan Skyline uh, they did have blue they have other colors and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go with the white why is because I can see it a little bit better than a, a darker color on the track mount that wing so it's got side mirrors with it it's only got one like they they didn't QC but that's the way in the pictures I saw notice that it just has one kind of weird why they did it that way like dude put another one on there so lots of light buckets so that is really nice even ha what it's got a brake light you could do like the brake light that is sick yes I like it I like to get a different tag there it says like OMGRC that'd be cool if you got if you do any kind of printing or whatever that'd be dope if you could hook it up <laughs> but anyway it's cool so let me show you the front i mean the front's money i love the front end of the r34s 
It does have even right here light buckets. It's got three light buckets just in this part of it and then also down there. So I like, man, this thing's sick. Cool freaking project. I've been, I love the scale detail of drift cars. So stay tuned for more videos on this build. Like I'll have it already put together and we'll kind of go over. I'm gonna kind of show you my experience because this is all learning. I did try to drive the, a drift car and it was quite the challenge. All right, guys, if you made it this far, I definitely appreciate it. And I want to let you guys know, too, there's a lot to this radio. There is no way of me figuring all that stuff out as of right now. The micro SD card slot, when you twist that antenna, so you can get to it, you can do your updates and things of that. I will do a little bit. I got to figure this thing out, but I will give more information once I have it all built, what I kind of did to it, show you the settings, and hopefully then as I get better, show you some more of the tune on it. So, yeah, man, stick around. It's going to be cool. I'm going to... I'm definitely digging it so you guys take care thank you again for watching check us out at omgrc.com loads of rc stuff on there it's not so much on the drifting four-wheel drive stuff but not two-wheel drive so you guys take care peace thank you again for watching